Joe Rogan discusses censorship at Spotify and the employees who want editorial control over his podcast on the latest episode with Tim Dillon. So I'm going to react to this, give you my thoughts. I think he does go in a little bit right here. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what Joe has to say about everything that's been going on. So when that does happen, yeah. if you can't discuss it, you, 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 we've found ourselves in this terrible place where there's no longer nuance, there's no longer informed right. discussion, and you have decided that a subject is off bounds or right. out of boundaries. Now, right. if people think that I should have trans people on and talk to them about it, I'm happy to do that. Right. But that's not what they're saying. Right. Now, I don't know what the actual conversation has been from Spotify talking to these employees, but if there, uh, these employees are listening. They've had over 10 meetings, and the employees are considering walking out and striking. I would tell you emphatically, I am not in any way anti-trans. Not in any way. In any way. I am 100% for people being able to do whatever they want as long as it doesn't harm other people. If you choose to do anything, whatever you want, whatever your personal choice is, I am happy if you're happy. I don't care. I, I, I'm, I'm of course, 100% open-minded. But if you say that I can't talk about something when a woman wrote a whole book and researched it deeply and is talking about... He's talking about Abigail Schreier, who was on his podcast recently. Not, not just these children themselves that have grown up and then gotten out of school and then realized they've made a horrible mistake and it's irreversible. That's the name of the book, Irreversible Damage. Right. We can't discuss this. Look, I had a friend who reached out to me and was saying thank you because my daughter has friends and four of them just decided they're trans together and they're all awkward and I've been trying to tell her that this this is probably statistically not even possible, that they would all be trans right. like this, that this is, th there might be something else and then they read this book or they hear about this conversation and without even looking into it, they just I must I just say, I know he's building a new studio, but I hate this red studio Joe Rogan has. <laughs> that it's transphobic it it's not transphobic to say that some people will regret transitioning it's just a part of being a person right people look people are so malleable they're so easily influenced and for us to deny that doesn't do anybody any any good no. anybody any service no. so this is the main issue they had with that you know this is the, the apparently this is the main problem they had was this one particular episode and i'm sure they've had issues with other episodes as well but like I said before, like we're, I'm talking off the top of my head. And a lot of times I'm saying shit that I don't even mean. Because I'm saying it because this is a fucking podcast. And if you have a problem with people saying terrible shit and you work for Spotify, maybe you should listen to some of the lyrics. Right. Okay? Oh! Oh, brings up a great point. They're not trying to call out any rappers and their lyrics at Spotify. Because some of the lyrics and some right. of the fucking music that you guys play over and over and over again makes my shit pale in comparison right. <laughs> pale right if you're in listening to some rap music right, right now yeah i'm not anti-rap i love yeah. rap music I'm, I'm fucking say it all do whatever yeah. you ever, go back and listen to nwa right go go back and listen to like some of the early shit right go like go back and listen to ice t cop yeah. killer when the body count yeah. days right like, yeah it's woo. wild yeah a lot of rap is not female forward woo. Yeah. Listen, I'm a fan, man. Yeah. I fucking love rap music. I'm a I'm a big fan. Look, I met Willie D from the Ghetto Boys recently when I was yeah. when I did gigs in Houston. Yeah. I was like a little kid in a candy store. Right. I'm a huge Ghetto Boys fan. I yeah. love rap music, but it's it's a standard. If we're gonna apply a standard, it it is yeah. a it's a type of art, and talking shit is also a type of art. Yes. You might not like that type of art because it seems too much. Oh, what kind of shorts is Rogan wearing here? I don't like those. It's <laughs> like a real statement. Right. And sometimes it is a real statement. Right. And sometimes it's just talking shit. Yeah. But just, and the fun is in deciphering which is which. And Right. I mean, half the fucking time you and I are talking, yeah. if you took what we say it out of quote, which is one of the things they did with the Bernie Sanders thing, right. they took things and put them in quotes, and some of them were so ridiculous. Yeah. But that that is what people do when they're trying to discredit someone and it's what they're doing is they're 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 not being honest. This is not it's not an honest take. He thinks the Spotify employees are not being honest. It's not a, it's not a, a, a real honest take on who a human being is. It's a denial of nuance. It's a denial of, 
all the complexities that make a human being. Yeah. It's like deciding, like you said this, and you said Meghan McCain, you know, right. was, uh, you know uh, fuck these tits. Right, you, she fucked you're her dad. You're a bad person. I, I, I you're a bad not, person. I did not mean she had a baby with her yeah. dad. It's right. certainly possible, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> didn't mean but it. But that, this is, I get it. If you're a 23-year-old woke kid, yeah. and you know, you're working for this company, and you think you're going to put your foot down. Well, isn't it that just it. in the beginning of tech, everybody that got into tech, it was like yes. nerds, it was woke people, like people that are like... Right, but here's, li yeah. listen, me on the outside reading these fucking articles, yeah. like, oh my God, Spotify censoring Rogan, Spotify's doing this. Spot it's not happening. Spotify has said nothing. <laughs> yeah, Listen nothing. to me, yeah. nothing. Yeah. They haven't said anything to my manager. Right. They haven't said anything to me. They've right. said nothing. Right. They've apparently had meetings. But right. they have a lot of meetings. Right. They have meetings about all sorts of shows. Right. They have meetings about the music they have. They have meetings about... They have people that have problems, especially in this day and age. Look, it's a great company. They're open-minded. They treat their employees very well. They let them have discussions about things. And I don't know what these discussions are like. I don't know what happens. I, right. I really don't. But in terms of like them silencing me... Zero. Right. There's been nothing. Right. There's been nothing. Yeah. Well, where's the Alex Jones episodes? I mean, you told Alex Jones it was a migration issue, and then the CEO said, well, no, those episodes along with Gavin and Milo just are never coming over. Let's be honest here. And then, well, the new thing was Roe v. Wade, right? With the and that's about it. Um, I didn't play the entire thing. Uh, if you go to the latest episode and just start an hour in, you'll see the entire thing. But I like the way you kind of clap back at them, like, you know, about rap lyrics and stuff like that, Spotify. Very, very interesting take from Joe Rogan. Um, like I said, do I believe him? I think it's 70-30. As Spotify reached out to him and had these complaints, probably not. It's more of an internal issue. However, they have censored the podcast. I don't believe that apology was out of nowhere. I don't believe... First of all, I, he said to Alex Jones that those episodes with Alex and Milo and Gavin it was just a migration issue. Then the chairman, Daniel X, said, no, we're not going to have those episodes over. So, I don't know, but let me know your thoughts in the comments.